Hey everyone, this is the third in a series called Storytime with the Professor. Now back when I was a teenager, we did some dumb stuff. But I want to tell you about the day that me and Denny went and caught some snakes. Yeah, pretty fun until uh, something happened. Let's talk about it. So Denny was my best friend all the way growing up through junior high and high school. He was a little older than me. He could drive in the ninth grade. One of the few that could drive in the ninth grade. And he was a pretty popular guy. We went out all the time. He drove us around and we piled as many girls as we possibly could in the cab of that big three-quarter ton truck that his dad let him drive. His dad was cool. He was a retired police officer. He had got hurt. He was disabled. But he still rode a Harley, had cool trucks, and lived out in the country. And that's what I liked about it. We went out in the country, out where he lived, and, man, we went squirrel hunting, we went fishing, deer hunting, we did it all. And he had this cool little motorcycle thing that he rode around. It was a Honda something. I don't remember what it was, but both of us could jump on there. We'd go out exploring and do all kinds of stuff. And and uh, one day, we just decided we want to go out and catch some snakes. And you know, a funny thing is, when you want to do stupid stuff, the Lord provides just to teach you some valuable lessons. And oh, did he ever. We rolled out of Catherine Settlement Park just a little ways down the road, found a little, little old dirt road. And uh, we, we got off and we walked down this dirt road, and I'll be dadgum if there wasn't this gigantic black snake laying right in our path. And I'm like, let's catch it. So anyway, I went over there and jumped on his head and grabbed it behind the neck. And, man, that thing stunk and it wrapped around my arm. And I had a pretty good hold of it. But then he said, hey, I want to hold it and you can ride, you can drive the motorcycle. I said, okay, that's cool. You know, I didn't have a motorcycle growing up. And I always took the opportunity to to drive or ride something that I didn't have. And so here we are. We were going to go transplant this this snake in the Denny's pond, and our plan was to fill up the whole pond full of snakes. So we got on the motorcycle. We rode down the dirt road, jumped on the highway for just a minute. And then he said, hey, wait a minute. We're fixing to turn on my road. My dad gets mad if we come all the way out here and don't get the mail. I said, okay. So I pull in by the mailbox, and let me tell you what Denny did. He let go of the head of the snake in order to get the mail. And all of a sudden, bah! that snake lit right into my back. Let go and did it again. Bah! Bit me twice in the back. And Denny was like, oh, man, I'm sorry. Grabbed the head of the snake. We got the mail. I'm like, well, I, it's a good thing this thing ain't poisonous. But you know what? People get sick from snake bites. Well, we fired the motorcycle back up. Rode a couple miles back in there to his house. And got off and we let the snake go out there in the, in the pond. And, and uh, we went back. Went in his house. I lifted up my shirt. Man, I had eight holes in my back where that snake had bit me. Twice. Eight holes. I was like, man, you let that thing bite me. What is wrong with you? He was like, hey, now you can tell everybody you've been bit by a snake twice. You know, I didn't think about it that way. I didn't get sick. I was fine. But here I am. 35 years later, and I'm able to tell people, I've been bit by a snake twice. And let me tell you how my best friend, getting the mail, forgot that he had a hold of the head of the snake, let it go, and it bit me in the back twice. But you know what? We got the mail. Oh, I never forgot that. The holes are gone, but the scars are still there. Denny, I'll never forget.